Hello everyone and welcome back to Regulatory Tuesday. I'm your host, Veteran Mountain Man, and today's discussion is going to be actually about the Illinois General Assembly House Bill 2354. Now this bill has been amended twice to clarify some definitions. However, the primary gist of the bill is to create the Lethal Violence Order of Protection. Now, what that basically is, is it's a gun ownership restraining order. And this order is not just something that can be done under extreme circumstances. This order can be done short-term or long-term with a judge's uh, dictum and without the person ever hearing the accusation against them. Because this is just like any other restraining order. And here's the big deal. It doesn't actually tell the person that they've been given this order. It just makes it illegal for them to own, possess, purchase, or carry any weaponry. It revokes their gun ownership permit. It revokes their concealed carry permit. And it requires them to turn over weaponry to the law enforcement agencies. And you can have your weapon instead transferred to a family member, but that family member has to agree to store them off-site locked up from you in such a manner that you can't get access to them until this order is dealt with. Now, I understand the good intentions that are going on here. I understand the concept that these people are trying to perform. They're trying to make sure that we don't have school shootings, and they're trying to make sure that we don't have increased episodes of domestic violence. I get that. But being able to take away people's gun rights without due process is authoritarian at, at, at worst. Uh, not at worst, at best. And downright damaging to the fundamental freedoms of the United States at worst. Now, like I said, this this bill has been amended to make it more difficult for somebody to remove this and to include uh, detailed definitions on who an appropriate person to turn the weapons over to should you have a family member take them. But the problem is, is that this has already passed the state's General Assembly and is now in the state's Senate. And it seems that this bill will actually pass. And the reason being is because anti-gun sentiment is heavy right now in Illinois. And the state of Illinois is trying to take away people's guns. And that's what this will actually allow people to do, is take away innocent citizens' guns, along with people who probably are bad people. But the problem is, is creating draconian measures like this catches everyone, not just the bad people you want to stop. So we need to think about this kind of stuff in more detail. Now, I got the information about this from an NRA support website, but I am going to actually leave a link to the description of the legislation in the details down below. And I hope that everybody goes and checks it out, reads through it, and please, please, please share information about this to anyone you know living in Illinois. And anyone you know who travels through Illinois on a regular basis. Well, thank you all again for joining me on this episode of Regulatory Tuesday. Don't forget to like and subscribe here on YouTube, BitChute, and the other social media sites down below. And as always, have yourself a beautiful day.